And welcome back to the farm everybody. I hope you're having a great day today with whatever it is you're getting up to. My name's Cody and I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. For those of you who were here last week, you will notice that the trees, I got all that finally cleaned up. So we had 10 large trees that were dead or dying, disease, those sorts of things that we ended up taking out. Very different for me to see it like that. My whole life those trees have been there. so. It's completely different and uh, in a way it's nice because now I have a blank canvas that we can work on to make the photo studio a lot more appealing to clients that want to come up and use it. But uh, there's also a little bit of nostalgia and sadness and uh, the loss of those guys as well. Got some plans with that wood, what I want to do with it later, maybe make it into something, you know, a little bit more special, that sort of thing. But um, yeah, our woodshed is full for the winter now and uh, we're good to go. It is getting cold out here now. Nighttime temperatures are flirting with the freezing mark. The last few nights we did get frost. Um, not enough to hurt the, the squash or the pumpkin, but you can kind of see here uh, this leaf clearly uh, touched by frost there. So that is a tale of uh, the times what we're dealing with. These, uh, this is a blue Hubbard squash here it is perfectly fine still, thank goodness. So the plan today is to get all the pumpkins out of the field if we get a hard frost on these guys, they will rot. A hard frost on these guys will kill them. So you want to make sure that they're not sitting outside uh, to get frost on them. So the plan today is to get these guys out of the field and into storage. So isn't this one just beautiful? That's a blue Hubbard squash. The color, I don't know if it's coming up on the camera or not, but um, it's just like this gray, green, blue, just absolutely stunning. Yeah, I really like this guy a lot. So I'm gonna to try to rescue all of his friends out in the field here this day. This day, today. So uh, let's get to work. There you go, a nice little armful of squash. I wanted to show you guys the hole that we had from our pumpkin patch this year. It is a lot smaller than it was last year. Um, if you were watching us for a, well, for a while now, you probably would have saw the video earlier this spring where I was trying to get the pumpkin patch planted and we had those crazy, crazy winds. It was like 72 hours of crazy gusty winds and it was wet and I had a heck of a time trying to get that uh, landscape fabric down so I had to change my plans. The pumpkin patch was pushed back like 10 days, maybe a week. 
for planting. So I wasn't expecting much with this year's patch, but um, every year you go in and you harvest and it's just uh, always amazes me at what comes out of the patch here. So a good variety. I'm really excited to try this guy especially. This is a Georgia roaster, a candy roaster. Um, looks beautiful and apparently it's supposed to be really quite sweet. So I'm really excited to give that a try. But uh, they all just look fantastic. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of uh, the pumpkin patch here. Pumpkins all packed up into boxes, so they're ready to go into the cabin now for some storage. So like I say, these will be used for props. Now we'll sell some, and then the ones that are ripe and mature, I will harvest their seeds from. There we go, isn't that beautiful? We're just gonna jump into a little bit of the seed harvesting that we're gonna do for this season. So what we have right here, I hope it shows up on the camera, all right, is the uh, original rhubarb that my grandparent planted when they first moved out here. And it has been growing in this same spot for almost 70 years now. And for me anyway, it's the, the most delicious tasting rhubarb. I'm sure there's a bit of nostalgia uh, for that reason, but um, I just love it so much. And uh, when it does put out seeds, it doesn't do it every year, but when it does, I like to save it and uh, propagate it. You know, we can sell the starts from the little seedlings or we can even sell the seeds too. So this stuff is fantastic. It grows so well here. We never water it. And it's just so well adapted to our local zone, our, our growing zone here, that it's pretty much worry-free. So it's, uh, it's my favorite for sure. Now, let me see here. It is already dried on the plant here. Whenever you're harvesting seed, you always want to try to let the seed pods or whatever it is that you're collecting as seed to dry on the plant first. That way you kind of guarantee that the seed is mature and, and ready to go. So if you pick it too early, you, sometimes the seed's not fully developed and you're going to get low germination rates. Um, so just be uh, be mindful of when you're picking it. So anyway, this guy, he is ready to go. It is bone dry, and I've got to be careful not to shake too much off just when I'm, I should have my clippers here, but anyway. So when I harvest seeds, what I like to do is make sure that I've got a paper or cardboard receptacle to put the seed in. Like I said earlier, if there's any moisture left in the seed, if you put it in a plastic or even a glass container, that moisture is going to seep out of the seed and it could cause some rot and some disease problems in the future. So whenever I grab from the field, I always like to make sure it's in a paper bag or a cardboard box or something like that, just to continue to dry out until it's down to the moisture content that you want, which is really, really low. I don't know the specific number. But um, so all the seeds go into the paper bag to dry. And then after that, they get put into storage. And when I have time over the winter is when I start to clean seeds. But anyway, that's a different story. So anyway, seed head goes into the bag here. And there we go. That's pretty much it. I don't know if it'll come off much of it, but uh, oh, that was pretty easy actually. So I just give it a little shake, and you can see it's uh, only a few little seeds left in there. So I might do it right now, just clean them on the plant like this, and uh, call that good here. But uh, yeah, got a good little mat a bit already to go. So I'm just gonna get these seeds ripped off of here and put into the bags. dry bunch of seeds there. I just put the uh, tops into the bag here. There we go. Give it a little shake. And most of them come right off and the rest go into the bag there. So uh, easy cleaning. There we go. So we got all the rhubarb seed harvested here and we got uh, this boat, the bag is about halfway full. I don't know if you can see in there or not. It definitely won't focus right away for us, but that's okay. But uh, yeah, we got a there we go, a real good amount of seeds. So I'm happy with that, you know, it's nice to be able to propagate something that, you know, my grandparents grew and that, um, you know, um, some of my favorite jam came out of this patch here, you know, that grandma made when I was just a little guy there. So the memory definitely makes a big difference in like maybe how I taste this uh, particular rhubarb, but I think it's just fantastic. And uh, now I'm gonna be able to get these all packaged and send them out to other people who want to enjoy it and uh, share a little bit in that memory with me. So it's always a fun thing to do to save seed and share seed for sure. So I've got a few more things I want to get harvested here today, so let's get back to it. The next thing I want to harvest today is our German chamomile. Now, if you've been watching the videos for any amount of time, you probably saw me start these guys from seed. I think it was a video back in the spring called uh, Grow Your Own Pharmacy or something like that. Anyway, one of the most best performers from that video came out to be the chamomile here. Um, I know it's probably a weed. Yeah, well, it is. I mean, it's not scentless chamomile, which is actually a weed. This is 
the stuff that you make tea out of. Anyway, that does not matter. Um, I've picked a ton off of these few plants here. I've been drinking chamomile tea every day. It's just fantastic. And now it's time to gather some of the seeds. So they are super easy to get. You just pick off the spent heads and it's these little puffy, they're basically just the spent flower head. And in there is full of seeds. So what I'm gonna do is pick these off, put them in that paper bag like we talked about before with the rhubarb, and then let them dry down probably for quite some time, you know. So the seed uh, is probably viable right now, but I just wanna make sure before I package it, before I store it in a glass or a plastic container, I just wanna make sure that all the moisture is out of it so that we don't run the risk of the plant or the, uh, the seeds rather from rotting. So anyway, I've got a few here to pick. Last thing I want to take care of today is for the calendula. So both for the seed and the flower, you can see here, we've got the calendula flower, we planted those. We also made that calendula hand salve with it the other day. Uh, that worked out well. But anyway, I've got a bunch of the flowers that I can still pick. I do expect our first uh, killing hard frost tonight. So um, all of these flowers, I want to get these picked so that we can dry them and then turn them into uh, different products. Uh, I've been picking this all summer long and we've got a ton of it, but it's nice to get that one last final bit off there just to make use of it. The other thing that I want to do is gather all the seeds. So the ones that I have let go to seed are pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to go through here, pick all of the flowers, gather up all the seeds, and then uh, probably call it a day, but let's get to work. There we go guys, that was a great day. We got a lot accomplished, you know, we're getting it ready for the frost that I think is gonna happen tonight. I was able to get one more pull off of the calendula flowers here. So aren't those beautiful? I wish you guys could smell it. It just smells so fantastic. Uh, so we've got like a ton of flowers already this season off of these guys, which is great. These are the last ones that I'm just gonna let dry out. And then I got a nice, um, I can't hold it up properly here, but uh, let's see. Got a nice bag of calendula seed there, so. I'll let these guys dry out too with the or the rhubarb seeds and the chamomile and uh, everything else that we did today. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, that was a great day. So I'm going to end it there for the video. I hope you got some enjoyment out of it and I hope you were able to maybe learn something or just uh, enjoy me out here working. But um, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I hope whatever it is you get up to for the rest of the day that you have a great day guys. So until next time, take care and we'll see you later. Bye now.